What's up guys? Lockout men in the truck. Back at it again with another video for that ass. It could be a reaction video. I don't know. I don't know, but I hope you guys understood the intro that I put up there for you guys. Those four incidents. Was it was it four? <coughs> I don't know. Let me let me see. Hold on right quick. Five incidents is what I go through on a daily. This is daily for me. This is daily. Those people cutting me off like like it's just like we don't exist. You see what I'm saying? You you want to turn around and do crazy stuff like that. And that just makes our job harder on a daily. I mean, come on. I just had to show that in the intro. Well, let's get into this video. I don't want to make this video long. Exactly. I want to make it like like a little bit short, a little bit sweet. Uh, I got a long video that I got to edit because I got to tell you guys what happened throughout last week. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this video right here right here y'all check this out check this out i found this post actually this post popped up last night uh on my feed it was somebody else uh put it in the group but look at look at this right here look at this this truck right here if i'm not mistaken that looks i can't tell what type of truck trailer that is but it could be crate carriers it could be because crate carriers do have trailers with with big information on the side of their trucks. But hey, don't don't quote me on this, all right? Don't quote me, all right? So allegedly, how's that? Yeah, allegedly. Don't quote me on this, okay? Um But here's what here's the situation. Uh the dude trainer he said so last night my trainer was sleeping and i backed into this truck by mistake ah uh, bruh nah bruh uh, i hate to tell you this bruh but that's not a mistake right there man that's that's not a mistake that's uh that's not a mistake all right let me finish reading it and i i'll tell you why that wasn't a mistake i tried to wake up I tried to wake my trainer up, but he just told me to just do it myself. Now the company wants to fire me, but it's not my fault. Nah, bruh. Here's, here's some key points to your situation right here, okay? Here's some key points, bruh. All right, so you said you backed into the truck by mistake. That's not a mistake, man. That's not a mistake. I... I Look, I'm all for the new drivers out here. I'm all for the new jacks. I love helping you guys out. I love giving you information. And if you see me that you need some help or need a helping hand, I am there for you. But right here, bruh, I'm sorry, man. That's 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 not a mistake. That's a problem. You see what you should have did. Here's here's some mistakes, some key mistakes that you that you that you made, all right? Number one, number one, your setup is all off, okay? Your setup is all off. For some reason, you you missed your mark, you didn't catch it in time, or whatever the case, and you just bat, looked like you was at an angle, and you bat straight into that truck. That's, that's the first key. The second key is the all-important key. All-important, go, okay? Go get out and look now see if you would have got out and look and see how much distance that you had from the truck and see how much room you had back there to to do your damn thing then you would have knew that you didn't have enough room and you would have known that you was almost almost now almost about to hit the truck all right now that that was that was the that's the that's the all important key is go get out and look especially if you don't know all right get out and look at all times 
all times get out I cannot stress this any more than I can get out and look and if you need help yo swallow that pride bruh swallow it swallow it deep get out wake up the driver and be like yo man I need help all right final key to this uh, situation now well not final key but one key before the final key you said that you tried to rake the trainer up but he just told me to do it himself now the trainer was wrong period point blank period see those are the type of trainers that only cares about the money they don't care about you you see what I'm saying when you get a trainer and this is for all you new jacks take this advice when you get on a trainer's truck make sure that trainer is focused on you okay and not the money because they get paid for you being in the truck they get paid the miles that you drive and they get paid for you know for whatever I think those the, the two but I know it's like I know it's like three let me let me let me let me tell you what happened to me in my little situation now, I had a trainer at first he was okay but after a couple of days it just went downhill he was he was just talking about how much money he wasn't making how much money he was losing he wasn't making no money he came back from thanksgiving and he was at zero he's over here trying to lease this truck yada 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 i don't want to know nothing about that man i only thing i want to know is how i'm doing and and just make sure that i'm doing it right this this trainer right here now he needs to lose his credentials he needs he needs not to be a trainer period okay because that's the wrong kind of trainer for the wrong kind of for for the type of trainees that you guys coming out all right you guys are greenhorns y'all never drove a 18 ruler of this magnitude before and you need somebody there focused with you to drive you feel me so the trainer trainer gots to go he gots to go and the last but not least uh the, another key point you said but it's not your fault i'm sorry bruh it is <laughs> it is your fault all right it's it's not the trainer's fault it's the whole responsibility is on you now if the company that you're with decides to give you another chance I, I don't know what company you're with, but if they decide to give you another chance, take that and tell them that you need a trainer that's going to train me well. If they're not going to give you another chance, which in some cases, maybe not because of the magnitude of this damage right here. Let me show you guys the damage. That's the damage. <laughs> that. <laughs> that is the damage, y'all. Oh, wait sorry about that let me let me go that's the damage he made now that is ugly that is ugly now but listen this is all alleged all right because if i go back to the picture if i go back to the picture of the truck uh, yeah yay nay you know what i'm saying what do you what what do you guys think? And you know, in the comments below, leave your leave what you guys think of if if this is if if this is real or not. I I can't say if it isn't because I wasn't there. I didn't see it. I'm only going off the pictures, but I'm only going off by what brother man is saying. All right. Again, he's saying it's not his fault, but I think it is. You know, number one, you should have got out and go. Number two, if the trainer didn't get up, then you should have you should have left that truck as is until that trainer gets his lazy ass out the back bunk, which he's not supposed to be in while while you're driving. When you're driving, trainer is supposed to be up in the seat with you unless you're teaming. And by the looks of this, don't look like y'all was in team status. All right but he should have got his lazy ass up and got got you right better yet he should have been outside guiding you guiding you he should have been outside guiding you okay 
So, brother man, I, I feel for you. Uh, my prayers go out to you. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that everything will work out all right for you. I really do. Um, yo, let us know. If you see this video, man, let us know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, use this as a learning lesson. Use this as a, uh, as a learning tool. Everything out here that you do is learning. You're getting your experience. Now, of course, this is bad. Uh, this may or may not. Well, yeah, it's going to go on your DAT because the company is going to put it as an at fault, uh, at uh, a preventable accident on you. Now, there's only it's only just one. You're a rookie, okay? We we all been there. <laughs> We all been there, trust me, we all been there. But uh, it's not your fault, nah. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's not your fault, bruh. It, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, and you know, like opinions, it's like assholes, everybody got one. So here's mine. I just think that this is your fault because of the major keys that I just mentioned previously, so. Hopefully you uh, hopefully everything will work out for you and my best wishes to you man. So hit me up, you know, lockoutmen gmail.com. Hit me up. Uh, Instagram, lockoutmen. Yo, talk to me, yo. I mean, you know, I've been there. I've been there plenty of times. I avoided a catastrophe this past week. So we all been there, man. We all been there. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, give me a minute. I, I got I, I got one more. I got I got a video that I want to show you guys right quick And I want to get you guys reaction on this too. Okay, so yo guys here you go I found this video right here that was posted on Facebook and um, <laughs> I'm curious to get you guys reaction on this now Do you think the driver or the the driver of the four-wheeler was was right in his hollering I don't know you guys tell me Back into my car. you hear me I beat the horn and you can't stop I want your life to be registration alright so let me stop right there now he said something about he beat the horn and he didn't hear him well i mean you're all the way in the back maybe he didn't hear you i mean we got so much noise going on up in in the cab we we probably couldn't hear <laughs> what all the noise that's going on around them look like they're at the turnpike or something like that another thing too why would the driver be backing up at the turnpike you shouldn't be backing up at the turnpike. So, don't you try to get out of it. You were backing up, and I was beating, and I was beating the horn. That's what you did. Now let me see your life in the registration. Right here. Yes. All right, stop witnessing. Don't get your life in the registration. Well, you're not going to get away with it. You were backing up. How do you back up on a highway? Well, why did you hit my horn? I was right behind you. All right, go. I need. Okay, let me let me stop it right there because you know the the the, the guy that's that's filming the the um, that's filming that is about to is about to talk shit, and I don't want to bring that in, but. Uh, I did want to I, I do want to point out that uh, if the driver was backing up he was wrong for starters you know you're not <laughs> you're not supposed to be backing up in the in the turnpike you're supposed to go but in any situation I, I think I think situations like this would probably be much better served with a cup of coffee you know what I'm saying? Instead of hollering at the top of your lungs, I understand that you're upset because the driver messed, you know, backed into your car. But, you know, 
get out of your car and say, yo, brother, man, hey, let me talk to you for a minute. Yo, man, you you was backing up. I was blowing my horn. You didn't hear me, but this is what you did. So, you know, we got we to gotta exchange information, uh, get your insurance. Let me get your company name, yada, yada, yada. And then bam, bam, boom, and we're out. That's it. That's all. Trust me, y'all. Insurance take care of everything. Okay. If you got insurance, it take care of everything. That's why you paying it. They do they 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 do trying to jerk you around sometimes, but that's the purpose of you paying for insurance for situations like this. So alright guys, well that's it. Um if you guys like videos like this and more, please subscribe, comment, hit that bell, and hook a brother up with some coffee. The link is in the description and in the comments below. Um, with that said, uh, right now I'm I'm changing. I'm I went through a little. I I went through a little bit, y'all. So bear with me. You know, I got my new computer. I got my new computer. I got my new camera now. I got my new hard drive. So all my all my bumpers and intros and stuff like that was on. The other hard drives that was taken and I will talk about that in an upcoming video so definitely stay tuned for that right now you guys have a blessed day and I'll talk to you guys later peace